Hi everyone. Um, I, I wanted to do a video on, on critical thinking because I, I, you know, I personally feel it's it's the most important thing that we have. Um, you know, and that's why freedom of speech is so important. Um, I follow in the stages of critical thinking and how it all works. Um, it's it's a process. So if you get if you get something that you you know you want to decide in your life, you think to yourself, I wonder if, and then and then you go through all these different scenarios in your mind until you come up with what you're actually thinking and what 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 you're actually going to do. Now that process of what you've done thinking that that is not you. You are what actions you do at the end of that. That's who you are. So you should never beat yourself up for the thoughts you have. You should only judge yourself by the actions you do. And uh, for an example, a friend of mine, his, his wife was critically ill in hospital and on life support. And th this was going on for months. And, and eventually he got to a stage where he he thought to himself, oh, I wish he'd just hurry up and die because I, I need my life back, right? I can't put up with this torture. Now, he beat himself up for nearly a year just, just having that thought. Until he spoke to me and I said, look, everybody has the right to go through these processes of thought to, to, to actually come to a conclusion. You have to think these things. We all have horrible thoughts or well, it's, it's, that, that isn't what matters. That's part of the process to come to the end conclusion. And the fact that he thought that and then, and then you know, really beat himself up over it just proves it. Well, it wasn't him. It wasn't him who... Um, that wasn't his opinion. That was just something that popped into his head as an idea to throw about to see what actually come out as actions. And you know, the next stage on from things like we should never we should never beat ourselves up for for things like that. Um, the next stage on from this is when you um, you then would whatever process you've done and then you've come up with a conclusion, you would then share it with people in your family, people in that room with you. So you would say, I've been thinking about something and this this is the conclusion I've come up with. And then you would share it. Um, that then, albeit a little bit biased, the points of view coming back, because obviously you're, you're all family or whatever. Um, but that then would, would tease your mind a little bit more and you would go a little bit deeper um, and look at things a bit more critically and think, yeah, I, I can see that I can see what they're saying there and didn't think of that. You know, this makes you a more rounded individual, a, a better person. Then the next stage would be that you would take it out into society. So with with your freedom of speech, um, you you would go out and you would maybe line up in a, a, a queue at a shop or you would go down to a local pub um, or... You you know just generally out in your garden, chat with your next door neighbour over the fence, and and you're pushing those boundaries again. So you're getting more different points of view from more different people. Now these people who you go and choose to to mix with become part of you because their opinions obviously are get thrown into your mind. That that that's your limitations. Your limitations are the people you speak to, um, as in points of view. So you need to surround yourself with well-rounded individuals who don't mind sort of setting their ego to one side because you get two people in the same room who can who are clever who can set their egos to one side and just talk out of that conversation they both learn so much more and they move on and it's your right to move on you don't have to stick by what you said yesterday you need to just move on and become a better person today for everything that you do through critical thinking now, you may then move on to, um, you, you know, you may move on to the fact that you read newspapers and, and maybe you watch uh, mainstream media. Um, and then you would move on to, um, you know, YouTube, Google, the Internet in general. All these things are fantastic. Never let anybody tell you that oh, you, you're just a YouTube researcher or or you just listen to it. It's not about any one thing that you listen to or watch. It's about gathering the information from all these different sources to get the, the bigger picture. 
and all these different people, the most well-rounded individuals, like I say, are the ones who've gathered information from every part and every type of society and sometimes from all over the world as well and brought it all together and think about it thought about it with um without the ego and out of that comes a very important bit of information and a lot of the time that what you find at the end of that is the truth because you can't deny the truth if you put the ego to one side the truth is there the only thing that disguises the truth is when people engage the ego and then they choose not to believe something because they feel more comfortable believing what they believed before or whatever. So at that point when you gain that knowledge, it's your duty to share that knowledge with other people because to withhold uh, important knowledge that you've took a long time and a lot of processing to do is to do society an injustice. And this is the reason why people do videos like, like I'm doing now. It puts thoughts into people's heads and I'm willing to grow from this. My, my last video I did, I, I become more wise after doing it. I got some information, some good feedback from people and my opinion on a few things changed and moved on up. That's exactly what we do. Like I said, we, we are not what we said yesterday. We are what we do today. That's who we are. That's who we've become. And... The thing is, what we've got in, in, in England is, is an attack on critical thinking. And, and this, this is, you know, albeit David Cameron's just a puppet for whoever's behind the scenes pushing the buttons. But um, David Cameron's done a personal attack on, um, on critical thinking. And the only people who would want to do a personal attack on critical thinking are people who don't want the truth to be known. They don't want people to be to have knowledge because remember, a lot of people who like to rule over many many others. The only way you can actually rule over others is through fear. So, if you can keep people dumbed down and control their speech and control what they see, as in the, their news they see, you take away their knowledge. Now, lack of knowledge equals fear. Um, you know, we only fear what we don't understand is a great saying. Um, now, if we can go on and actually process it and come to a conclusion, we get to a point in our lives where we don't need to be told whether something's legal or illegal. We know whether it's right or wrong. And that's the most important thing. Our enemies, anybody who's a critical thinker, and anybody who likes to, to, to be independent and judge things for themselves um, are our true enemies, are the people who commit the actions. So we need to stop looking at, looking for, um, you know, big members, high up members of society, like say the queen in this country, or um, for instance, David Cameron, um, or, or even government in general, or, or a, a so-called Illuminati that exists somewhere. You know, these people are powerless without the people that take actions. The actions are the only thing that actually matter. So he can stand up. The Queen can stand up. Anybody can stand up. I can do this video. I can say what I want to say. Um, whether or not that rubs off on anybody is up to them. And But that is only words. Laws are only words put onto pieces of paper that doesn't make them automatically right. They are just someone else's opinion or a, a small group of people who've decided to put that law up together. The only people who enforce that and the real evil in this world, the real evil are the people who carry out the actions to reinforce things that are morally wrong. And I don't care what excuse they, they use. I don't care if they say I'm just following orders or I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I, I, I've not really, I don't think about things like that. I just do what I'm told. That may, That's a bad person. That is an evil person. And a person who does that should be, um, you know, should be pushed out of your life as soon as possible and, and made distance from. Remember that these few people who do this, um, they they choose to be ruled. So they got like Stockholm syndrome. They they fall in love with their capture and they fear that they're, they're completely controlled by fear and they need to reinforce that that fear 
uh, they need to reinforce that that system that they're under hoping that they're going to get brownie points that they're suddenly going to become you know the little um nice little puppets for that system and uh and you know they're going to be safe that's what they're going for they're going for being safe but at, at the expense of all the people in the world who wish to be free so remember we can all say what we want to say words are just words things written down on bits of paper or just words put onto bits of paper um the true enemy the enemy of us are the people who put those words into actions for someone else without thinking critically thank you